Today we're going to make a impressionist or post-impressionist landscape painting. The first thing I'm going to do is sketch my design. Now you should sketch with a pencil. The only reason I'm using a sharpie is because it shows up better on camera. And now you want to create a balanced composition. I want to show things near and far, but also spread different elements all around the picture. So I've got clouds in the sky mirroring the shape of the canopy of leaves at the top. The bottom looks a little bit empty, so I'm going to add this river to go from the foreground into the background. Now I'm going to paint with little dabs of color. A lot of students feel most comfortable starting off with the expected colors like green on the canopy of leaves, brown on the tree trunk, black in the shadows, things like that. It's important to be gentle with your paintbrush. You have better control over where the paint is going if you are painting with the tip of the brush instead of pressing it so hard the bristles flatten out. Um, you also want to pay attention to how wet your brush is. The wetter your paintbrush is, the more pale the colors will look because you're thinning out the pigment so you see through to the white of the paper a little bit more, but it also can make it drippy if it's too wet. Um, from this point, you're basically going to add more colors, add more shadows and highlights. Uh, don't just leave the ground as a pure green. You want to add a little bit of yellow for the highlights, a little bit of maybe blue in the shadows, and blue near the horizon line because as things get farther away from us, they look a little bit paler and generally bluer because of the effects of the atmosphere and the way that light scatters through the atmosphere. Different wavelengths of light spread more readily and that's what makes the sky appear blue. Um, generally speaking, you might start off by mixing analogous colors, colors that are next to each other in the color wheel, but when you get a little bit more adventurous with your color and add the unexpected colors, that's what makes your painting stand out. The Impressionist painters were largely focused on optics and the way that they perceived color around them. Um, it was their impression of what they saw in front of them. But uh, post-Impressionists started to get a little bit more creative and a little bit bolder with their use of color, focusing on how color could convey mood, for example, but also inserting other colors to make things brighter and, and more interesting. And those unexpected colors can make a painting or a work of art more engaging because it provides detail for the viewer to discover and it rewards a person who takes the time to look more closely at the work. Now I'm gonna try to make my mountains in the background look a little bit more faded. So I just put streaks of color there and then I'm basically painting over it with just water starting off going over those streaks of color so I soak up a little bit of pigment and thin it out and spread it out there. And again, after I've got everything covered with the sort of expected and typical colors, the next thing I'm going to do is add some of those unexpected details. I'm going to look for opportunities to add a little bit of some other colors into my landscape. So I'm going to go back over some of the areas that I've already painted, adding some blues and some yellows to the ground. But then I might get out my fluorescent colors and add some streaks of some brighter colors, like a little bit of neon orange on the ground and on the highlights of the tree and things like that. Because again, as I said, it's the unexpected details, the creative leaps that you make, that will make your artwork stand out a little bit more. It grabs people's attention, gets them looking more closely to discover unexpected details. And it also can get them wondering about the choices that you're making, which all holds people's attention a little bit longer and gets them to pay attention and appreciate different aspects of your work.